my earth sign. How are you, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo? This is March 29th for you. What is happening? What is happening? This is Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm going to do, I'll use a different um, spread. I'm going to use that um, Celtic cross. And then in the extended, we're going to get um, messages to you from this person. Uh, the people who are coming in, what's coming toward you. That's what the, that's what this new reading is going to be. Um, I don't know, just different at, I mean, we're do, I'm, I'm putting together my tarot class. It's going to be announced in April. And just between you and me and the lamppost, the, the spread really matters. What spread you choose gives you the best answers, the most, um, that's a really important piece of it. So, all right, let's see what's going on here. Enough shuffling, Mary Jo. All right, so earth sign, Pisces, dealing with moon, dealing with hidden issues, something you're going to need to work on. Something you're really going to need to work on here. Oh, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, Earth sign. What's going on here? Wow. feel like you've got a fight ahead of you here. I do. I feel like there's another person involved, but I don't think that's where the fight is. I think the fight is coming from someone um, that you're still in, uh, like, a committed relationship with, like a marriage you could be going through a divorce right now and you have this lovely experience of this other soulmate and then you're experiencing this kind of soulmate at the same time. So that's what is, there's a lot of fear here. Okay. There's a lot of deep feelings. Um, you could be dealing with a water sign, earth sign who is, um, who may be um, apologizing and then still going back and doing the same things. There's a lot of hidden stuff here. There's third party. Like if you're getting divorced, um, the, the karmic, the person you are leaving to go on your new journey is very much stuck in the past. Okay. They're very much stuck in the past. They've got a lot of feelings that they want to get them they want to say and talk about it's it's turning into something that's kind of molasses -y stuck like you thought you had overcome this okay you thought you had overcome this but now you're seeing it from a new perspective feeling more stuck so you might be thinking that an apology well there could be children here involved too um, you might be thinking an apology is going to, is going to change this, but I feel like it gets you deeper in the mud. Okay. So five of swords is the outcome, uh, hopes and fears. You're either, this is interesting for hopes and fears. It's like, I hope it blows up because I don't want to get stuck in this, but at the same time, I'm afraid it's going to blow up. Okay. And you're sort of like, whoa, you're walking this, like you're walking a tightrope in a hurricane, my love. Um, because this, you have another soulmate. There's another soulmate. Okay. There's another person involved here. And, um, you don't want to hurt this person's feelings. They could be a water. I feel like they're a water sign. I see Capricorn here, but that's you guys. I feel like, um, you don't want to hurt this person's feelings. Give me more on the devil energy here. Death, Scorpio energy, definitely water sign, four of swords. This needs to, the, the band-aid just needs to get ripped off here. You just need to rip the band-aid off because this person is wallowing in these, looking into the past feelings about like, oh, it was so romantic. They're not seeing the past correctly. Okay, that's one thing. So the band-aid needs to just get ripped off. What is the moon here? That's what they're not seeing the past correctly. You've got to illuminate things and rip that bandaid off. They're not, they're romanticizing the past. Okay. And it's going to lead to some fights here. That's not how it happened. Five of swords. That's not how it happened. Ace of pentacles. Can we just move forward? You have some place, you have places to go and people to see. 
okay? You have places to go and people to see, new things. You're going to need to just dispense with this. You're going to need to rip the Band-Aid off here, okay? Because you have something new. You can't get stuck in these cycles of fighting, Earth sign. You can't do it. It's just not going to help you at all. This needs to be done. And you have the power to do that. you got to rip the Band-Aid off, though, okay? It might be a little painful, you know, King of Swords is good at ripping Band-Aids off. Okay, you got to channel. Instead of, you know, going into feelings, which is what this person wants to do, you're going to need to go into Swords energy, which is the thoughts, the mind, the, the uh, logical stuff. You just need to rip the Band-Aid off. I know you're afraid of this happening, but trust me, it's better than getting stuck in these cycles with this person. You keep getting stuck in cycles with this karmic. Okay? So let's do an extended. Let's see where we go. Like I said, there's a new person here that this impacts. It's not just you anymore. It's a new person. Okay? Um, we're going to do an extended read. We'll see about blocks and blocks to overcome, how you do that, actions to take. Let's get messages from this person. Hi, train. And see how this unfolds. We'll also look at the oracle cards. Okay? All right, link below, Earth sign. I will see you on the other side.